Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, a gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. In today's video, I'm going to uh, answer a question that was posed to me by one of uh, the many viewers that have written in with comments. And thank you very much for all of the comments and questions. Uh, I think that's great that we've started a dialogue online and I can have the opportunity to interact with viewers. Um, so I'm going to start doing some videos that address viewer questions. The question that I'm going to answer today is, how long after an IUD is removed do I have to wait to get pregnant? Or alternatively, when can I get pregnant after an IUD is removed? This is a frequently asked question and an important one. One of the advantages of using an IUD is that essentially right away after the IUD is removed, you are able to theoretically conceive. So basically right the next month after the IUD removal, um, you're considered fertile um, and uh, a patient is able to ovulate and potentially conceive. Uh, now it's important to note that in the general population, regardless of whether or not they've had a recent IUD or regardless of what contraception they've been using recently, it can take some time to conceive and not everyone is going to get pregnant right the very first month of trying. On average, it could take up to a year to conceive. And so when we are looking at patients um, in the office who are coming for problems with infertility, we would not actually define a patient as being infertile or having fertility troubles unless they had been a full year of trying to conceive without success. So just to re-emphasize, if you've had an IUD removed, whether it be a hormonal levonorgestrel IUD like Marina or Kylina, or if you've had a copper IUD removed, if you haven't conceived right away in the first several months after uh, it has been removed, it doesn't necessarily mean that there will be fertility problems. Um, while we're on the topic of discontinuing contraception and subsequent fertility, um, I would mention that when a patient stops the birth control pill, the same is true in that there is not a delayed window uh, in terms of return to fertility. Theoretically, that patient immediately upon discontinuing the pill theoretically should be able to conceive the next month. There's not sort of a waiting period afterwards. The only contraceptive option that really does delay return to fertility is the shot um, or Depo-Provera. So with this option, um, it can take several months up to a year for the hormone to leave the system and for the body to return to ovulating. So part of the mechanism of um, preventing pregnancy with the shot is actually uh, preventing ovulation. And that effect can continue even up to a year after the last injection. So for my patients who are really looking at trying to precisely time their next pregnancy, um, I often will dissuade them from considering the shot in that circumstance just because it might be difficult to time um, their fertility window after discontinuing uh, because there can be that up to one year delay. One other point that I'd like to emphasize um, while we're talking about future fertility after contraception use uh, is the fact that the IUD does not have any negative long-term consequences with regards to fertility. Uh, and that's a myth that I've addressed in uh, previous videos, um, but neither the hormonal nor the copper IUD has any sort of negative effect towards future fertility. And patients ask, well, you know, I wanna have kids in the future, is an IUD still right for me? The answer is absolutely, no effect on future fertility. And along those same lines, there seems to also be a misconception that if someone is on the birth control pill for too long, that it might have a negative effect on future fertility. And that also is a myth. There's not really a maximum amount of time um, that someone should be on the pill. There's not really sort of an ideal time frame um, beyond which we would say, oh, you've been on the pill for too long and should stop taking it. Um, just in, as a general concept and specifically as it pertains to future fertility, there's not really any 
future consequences in terms of whether or not you'll be able to conceive uh, related to how long you've been on the birth control pill. So that's not something that you need to be worried about um, if you've been on the pill for many, many years that in and of itself is not going to have a negative impact on your uh, future potential for uh, pregnancy. So again, just to emphasize, after removal of an IUD, whether it be hormonal or copper, um, and similarly after discontinuation of the birth control pill, really theoretically right the next cycle, you should be able to conceive. Now, in patients who have an IUD removed or who discontinue the birth control pill, if they go on to have very, very irregular cycles or infrequent menstrual cycles, that could be a separate issue that may um, pose difficulty, shall we say, with regards, to, uh, with regards to conceiving. So if after you've stopped the birth control pill, if after you've had an IUD removed, if you're going months and months without having a cycle or only very irregular cycles, um, that could be an issue and would be worth talking to your doctor about for further investigations as to why your cycles are irregular. Just to emphasize, this subsequent irregularity in your menstrual cycles would not be caused by the IUD, whether copper or hormonal, would not be caused by uh, being on the birth control pill. Um, those options don't have an effect on ovulation subsequently and would not be causally related to subsequent irregular cycles. Um, but just to emphasize that if you are in a situation where you've stopped a contraceptive option, um, such as the IUD or the pill, and are finding yourself trying to conceive but your cycles are all over the map or very infrequent, then that might be a reason to uh, get in to see your doctor for further evaluation. That's all for today's video. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you again for watching and for all of the uh, comments and questions through the YouTube channel. Uh, I try to uh, answer and get to as many of those questions as possible. Um, I'll end today's video as I always do by reminding you that in less than the time that it took to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted. Uh, the whole process takes about five minutes and provides up to five years of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.